Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of a different format video, which is going to be a flip through of my reading journal that I've done mostly in 2019. I've been sticking with it pretty much since I started in the spring and I'm really proud of myself. Here, I just have some stickers that I stuck in the front that I got from Redbubble or some various book boxes. I didn't quite know what else to do with them because they are quite large, so I just stuck them on these blank pages to decorate them. Here I have the table of contents, which I filled out through August and then stopped updating. Maybe I'll go back and update it, but who knows. <laughs> so I actually first started this reading journal in like August, 2018. And I didn't really know what I was doing. I only had markers and I just kind of did this one spread of series that I read in 2018 with some little drawings. As you can see, the way that I journal changes a lot from this point, but I basically bought this nice Let's Turn journal and did a little bit of this and then stopped. And then I did this one page of Shadowhunters stickers that I got from Redbubble. And that was pretty much the end of my bullet journaling in 2018. And then I picked it back up again in 2019 when it got really popular on BookTube. Here I have my most anticipated books of 2019 and this spread is totally inspired by Chloe from Books with Chloe. She inspired a lot of my spreads throughout the year because I've just loved her journaling content. And so I have incorporated a lot of her ideas into my journal. And of course I will always credit when I get ideas from someone. My 2019 reading goal was to read 100 books and I have actually surpassed that, which is great. I think at this point I'm up to about 115. So I had the boxes where I color in and then I also had this two page spread where I write the name of every book and that I read and I did two full pages of this so that I had plenty of room and I got on to the fourth page, which is good. Then next I did a little YouTube tracker where I'm tracking my subscriber growth. Not to pay like too much attention to the numbers, but just to have a little something. something. Here's my video tracker where I was writing the date and title of every video just so I could, again, keep track of what I was doing, but I don't think I estimated enough space. I should have had another page. I pretty much stopped updating this in August when I realized I was gonna run out of space, but that's what it is. Here is a spread for some buddy reads that I did and also some readathons that I took place in. And here we go into the monthly spreads. Starting out in January, I did a little snowflake theme. And every month I start off with on the left, the new releases and on the right, my TBR. I color in the new releases when I get the book and I color in the TBR if I read that book in that month. And right here is my wrap up for January. As you can see, I didn't quite know how to do the stars. I started thinking maybe I was gonna outline it in black. It didn't look good, so there's that one weird star. <laughs> Here is my February TBR, a little bit of an ambitious one. Can't say that I read all of them on there. That is a common theme. <laughs> but I just did a little love theme for Valentine's Day. And here I did the booktube games in February and I got a lot of inspiration from Olivia Reads A Latte for this spread because she did a whole video and she was my co-host for the booktube games so I that's right from there. And here's my February wrap up. Again, I tried to outline the stars in black. Not sure how I like that. March was the month that I read Priori of the Orange Tree. So I did it orange themed with some oranges and orange blossoms. I actually really like the way that this one turned out. And I love the way that the blue and the orange look together. Here I changed to just doing black stars. I think it came out a lot better, a lot stronger. And in April, my birth month and spring, flowers are my thing, so I just had to do flowers this month. And it's just very springy. I really love the way that this spread turned out. And again, here's my wrap up, and I started just drawing stars in like a color that matches with the spread. And I, from here on out, I caught my groove in drawing stars, but it honestly took a few months to get here. May, I did a little watermelon theme. And I read like no books on my DBR.
here's my wrap up and I did read a decent amount in May, so that's nice. Here is my book con haul. I don't know how I feel about the spread. I got this book con sticker in 2018, but I used some gel pens that smudged a lot, so the spread came out looking kind of messy, but it's there. Oh, I love this June theme. I love the leaves and the way that the green looks. Also, I love doing script with like big print letters in the back, which I did for the title here. I think it came out really nicely. And here you start to see that I start to get more into bullet journaling with different spreads rather than just my monthly wrap-ups and TBRs and whatnot. Here is a Biblio Games spread because it took place in those in June. And again, my wrap-up spread, which has that leaf theme again. Love it. And my July spread is for the 4th of July. This was also the book, the month of the book junkie trial by Rachel Marie, and I definitely copied this spread from someone on Twitter. And I had a lot of fun for kicking in that, and I read a lot because of how many problems there were. Here I did a reading tracker and some statistics on how I did during the Bunk Jockey Trials. I also, in this month, took my owls. I think I doubled up on Book Jockey Trial prompts and my owls because I wanted to take my notes in August. So I printed out the prompts that I wanted to complete and I got inspiration from spread with, from Chloe. <laughs> um, and then here I just have a little spread with some Harry Potter doodles. This page was some spreads on some spell motions, I think taken from the app and as well as a quote page. And these I both found on Pinterest and copied it from there. Next is the reading rush. Again, this idea was taken from Chloe because she is the bullet journaling queen and has given me a lot of inspiration throughout the year. The reading rush was a lot of fun and I especially love this idea with the badges and putting them in the journal. It was really fun every time I finished a prompt to have something to stick into my journal. I really enjoyed that aspect. Here I did a spread to keep track of the challenges on Bookstagram and Booktube every day to make sure I did all of them, which I did. Here I did another most anticipated books for late 2019. That big thing of purple tape is because I messed up really, really badly, but I found that there were a lot of books coming out in late 2019 that I wasn't aware of in the beginning, so I wanted to make another spread with all the books that I was really looking forward to. And here is a tracker for some of the arcs that I have physically and both electronically. My July wrap up. I actually did my July wrap up in two parts because I had so many books and I wanted to list what readathons I did each book for. So next is my August spread. I think this might be my favorite of the whole year just because I love celestial things and I did a lot of moon and stars for this one with the silver and the gold. I just think it came out looking so cool. Here I started doing a day's red spread with audio and physical and I honestly am pretty bad at keeping up with these. I wish I knew them and then they don't come out. Uh, here I did my spread for the nudes, which is very similar to my spread for the owls. And I did a quote page taken from Pinterest here. And I just laid out the prompts here. This is now the prompts with each book that I read and I successfully completed all of the prompts. So I'm now a magic zoologist and I got my graduation certificate. <laughs> This is just a little spread that I did for the Overhyped Book Club with the graphics that Michelle made for our 
book club each month. I only did the first two months. I should probably go back and do a spread for the rest of the shows that we've done. Here is when I started getting into BTS. So from this point on, it kind of morphs into a K-pop slash reading journal. This is the readathon of the soul that I did and I just had a lot of fun. I did this cute little spread to keep track of all the prompts. And here I just got a bunch of stickers off of Redbubble and made a spread of them. <laughs> here is my doodle practice page. I was finding for wanting some inspiration for themes and wanted to try doodling like in the journal, but didn't really quite know where to put it, so I made that spread. Here is my lover spread when this album by Taylor Swift first came out. I did a quote from the song Cruel Summer because it is my favorite one off of the album with some watercolors. And here's my August reads. I really love at the bottom how I did the black marker with the white gel pen over it. I love the look of that. And now getting into fall, here's my September spread. A lot of fall colors, all very leafy. I actually took inspiration for this spread from my best friend Melissa who sent me her bullet journal. And I was like, you know what, I like this. I'm gonna go off of your theme. Again, here's my tracker. I think I did pretty well tracking in September actually, but there are some months that I didn't. Here, these are the BT21 characters. I actually had a lot of fun. I freehanded these guys from just looking at things on Pinterest. And I find the more that I'm doing in my journal, doodling, freehanding stuff, I'm actually getting a lot better at it. So that makes me happy because I never thought that I could draw, but apparently I can somewhat. Here's just a little collage I did of BTS albums. So as you can slowly see me descent into being an army. And I did a bookstagram tracker. I love on the top, I did a little ombre effect here and I kind of decided I wanted to commit more to posting on my bookstagram. I made this little tracker, even if I didn't fully fill it out, I feel like I have kept up on my bookstagram since making it, so that's good. September wrap up. And here is my October cover page. I started doing cover pages for every month in October and I really like it. I did a whole October plan with me. If you want to get more in detail about that, it is up on my channel. I will leave it linked up below. And this is a little spread I did because Isabella from Thorn of Pages got me these photo cards of V from BTS. So I put her little note in there and wrote something nice because I was just feeling the emotions. I love the pink and purple ombre. And here I did a whole Harry Potter spread in October because I'm rereading and rewatching the movies. Have I finished any of them yet? No, but we're not gonna talk about that today. I love these little footprints from the Marauders map. They were super simple to draw, but I think that they just came out looking so cool. And so here I have boxes and I will fill them in when I read the books or watch the movies. And here I did a little page for Ravenclaw because I have to rep my house. In case you didn't know I'm a Ravenclaw. I also got some Harry Potter stickers from Amazon actually. I can leave that linked down below and I just threw them in my October wrap up. And now on to November, this time on my cover page, I did a calendar and I took my theme from this washi tape that I have. And I did this card stop with this Moonchild quote, which is one of my favorite songs. And unfortunately the silver gel pen doesn't really show up well on camera, but I do think that this theme is very fall and wintry. Here I have my BTS album tracker because I am a collector in my soul. And I did the French doors where you like cut half the page and then put some washi tape to cover how bad of a job I did at cutting straight. Um, and I love that I did it on the side. I just think it looks really cool. And then I just color in each one as I collect the albums. But yes, I am collecting them. Here I did a spread for Bring the Soul, which was a BTS movie that I saw. I saw it actually after only liking the group for like a week or two. 
and that's when I like fell in love with them. Here is a spread for the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself movie that I went to go see. It's actually the first time I ever went to see a movie by myself. And it was a really fun time. Here I did a spread for the different K-pop albums that I like that aren't BTS. <laughs> I've just been descending into really loving K-pop and it's been a really, really fun time. And here's my November wrap up. I love these little trees that I drew at the bottom. It's just so wintry. A lot of gold and silver colors. And now moving on to December, I did a whole December journal with me, but I just love the way that this cover page turned out. And here are my new releases and my TBR. I kept it short and sweet this month. A little quote page and my um, days ride tracker. As you can see, I really didn't keep up with it. I also haven't really been reading that much, but like I have read more than one day this month. Here is a little Christmas countdown and a Christmas wish list. I got these ideas from Amanda Rach Lee. She is like the very famous bullet journal booktuber. Not a booktuber, journal tuber. And here is my ATs album tracker. And with this one, I got to put some little group photos in there. ATs is quickly becoming one of my favorite groups. And here I did again, just a little French door to put the different albums on there and I'm collecting them. And this is my last spread. I decided I wanted to do a spread of all the different videos that I made this year. And this turned out to be much more ambitious than I thought. Um, Cause I've made a lot of videos in 2019 and I'm really proud of myself for all the effort that I've put in over this whole year. And so yeah, I just, printed out all my thumbnails and put them on the page and it's kind of a pain to cut all of them out and put them in the right order and then I found I missed some but you know what I think the spread came out looking pretty cool. I put washi tape in different places and I just you know look at this and I feel proud of myself because I put in a lot of time and effort and I do it because I love it. And so we are nearing the end of the flip through. Honestly, 2019 has been a pretty good year for me. I really found a lot of hobbies that I love, including K-pop and bullet journaling. And it's just brought a lot of fun and a lot of joy into my life. And I'm so happy to have this. As you can see, that's about as much as I have left in my journal. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to more bullet journal content in 2020. Have some fun, read some books, and I will catch you guys in the next one.